Good morning student, hello, how are you? First of all, I want to tell you that I miss you so much. I wish you have a good day, a good health and a good situation. And I want to remind you to put on your your mask and don't forget to use hygiene, okay student? And take care of your health and of your parents, okay student? So, our lesson for today is about countable and uncountable noun, okay? So, please open your book, page 31. Open your uh, student book, page 31. Here, we have exercise 3. Here, you have to read and listen to a radio a commentary about Sugjara and here you have to fill the planks okay here we have word you have to use those words the first one is market theater inexpensive bread fruit juice street honey and food you have to use those word and put them in the blanks okay student so let us listen, read, and fill the planks, okay, student? So, let us listen. Please listen carefully and try, uh, try to guess the missing word, okay? Module 3, page 31, exercise 4. Souk Jara is an outdoor market which opens throughout the summer every year. So he said, Souk Jara is an outdoor market which opens throughout, throughout the summer every year. Okay? It is busy, noisy, and full of a wide variety of goods, food, and activities for everyone. It is a busy, a noisy, and full of wide variety of goods and food and activities for everyone okay so it is what souk jara is an outdoor market okay let us continue it is located in fauzi maluf street and has four important areas in it it is located in fauzi maluf street and has four important areas in it okay it is located in fauzi maluf street and has four important uh, areas in it okay let us listen souk jara market where there are some inexpensive handicrafts antiques paintings traditional dresses and homemade items okay souk jara market uh, where there are some inexpensive handicrafts, antiques, painting, traditional dresses, and homemade items. Okay, so Sugjara Market, where there are some inexpensive handicraft. Okay, let us continue. Sugjara Cafe, where there is some food made by the people who live in Jabal Aman. Okay, uh, here we have Souk Jara Cafe where there is some food made by people who live in Jabal Amman. Okay, Souk Jara Cafe where there is some food made by the people who live in Jabal Amman. Let us continue. You can buy some bread, corn, and honey. You there can buy some bread, corn, and honey. Some bread, corn, and honey. Also flowers, vegetables, and some very delicious and refreshing fruit juice you can buy while shopping around. Okay, you can buy some bread, corn, and honey. There are also flowers, 
vegetables and some very delicious and refreshing fruit juice you can buy while shopping around okay there are also flowers vegetables and some very delicious and refreshing fruit juice you can buy while shopping around Souk Jara Theatre, where you can watch short films and attend musical concerts. Souk Jara Theatre, where you can watch short films and attend a musical concert. Souk Jara Theatre, where you can <coughs> watch short films and attend a musical concert. Okay? So, can you guess? the meaning of a musical concert here we have say Sugjara theater last time we talked about the theater right so in the theater you can watch the films and attend a musical concert so what does musical concert mean musical concert means الحلقات الموسيقية okay أو in Arabic ال الحفلات الموسيقية I think okay so in the theater you can watch film and you can attend a musical concert Sukjara games where there is a variety of games for children and adults Sukjara Sukjara games where there is variety of games for children and adults there is a lot of games for children and for adults, okay? For young people and for adult people. Any of them. One important thing, try to get to the market early before the traffic. So don't miss any of them. A one important thing, try to get to the market early before the traffic, okay? Try to go early before the traffic okay so this is about uh, the Suk Jara okay student so I wish you can follow me okay I wish you can follow me in the text okay so let me read it again for you okay so Suk Jara is an outdoor market which opens throughout sorry which opens throughout a, the summer every year. It is busy, noisy, and full of wide, wide variety of goods, food, and activities for everyone. It is located in Fauzi Ma'aluf Street and has four important areas in it. The first one, Sugjara Market, where there are some inexpensive handcrafts, antiques, paintings, uh, traditional dresses, and homemade items. The second uh, area or the second place in the Sukjara is Sukjara Cafe, where or there is some food made by the people who live in Jabal Amman, you can buy some bread, corn, and honey. Okay. There are also flowers, vegetables, and some very delicious and refreshing fruit juice you can buy while shopping around. And the, the next place or the next area is Souk Jara. Theater where you can watch short films and attend a musical concert. And the last one is Sugjara Games, where there is a variety of games for children and for adults. So I wish you can follow and fill the blanks. Okay, student. Now let us move to the countable and the uncountable noun. Okay, let us move to the countable and the uncountable noun. So what is the countable and the uh, uncountable noun? 
Can you guess the meaning of countable and uncountable nouns? We all know the nouns, right? Nouns is in Arabic asma. So here we have countable and uncountable asma. Countable and asma uncountable. So the countable nouns is the noun that you can count. What does that mean? الأسماء المعدودة. The nouns that you can count. Okay? But the uncountable noun is the nouns that you cannot count. Right? The, uh, the noun that you cannot count. Okay? Countable noun is the nouns that you can't count الأسماء المعدودة but the uncountable nouns that the noun is the nouns that you cannot count which means الأسماء الغير معدودة okay so in the countable noun here we have a singular and a plural form okay you can Use a singular verb or a plural verb, okay? Here we have singular or a plural form. Look, a tree, singular noun. Two trees, plural noun, right? Again, singular and a plural. Tree, singular. Trees, plural, right? Buck, singular. Boxes, plural. Can you see? Can you see? Box, singular, and boxes, plural. Here we use is because why? Because the noun is singular. The buck is old. The buck, right? The buck is singular noun, and with singular noun we use is. The boxes are old. We use are. Why? Because the noun is plural. The boxes, right? The boxes is a plural noun and we use are with a plural noun, right? So, what about the uncountable noun? Here we have only one form. We don't add s, okay? We don't use a or an or number before the nouns, the uncountable nouns. Okay, so here we have one form. Okay, sugar. We don't say sugars. Can you see? Rice. We don't say rices or a uh, rice. Right? Bread. We don't say breads. We don't say a bread. Rice, we don't say rices or a uh, rice. We don't say a bread, okay, or two breads, okay. We don't use s, we don't use a, uh, we don't use an, and we don't use number, okay, student. So, this is about the uncountable noun. So, here we have single, two forms, singular and plural. Here we have no form. Here we have no plural, sorry. Here we have one form. We don't add anything to the noun, okay? So, examples of the uncountable noun. Examples of the uncountable countable noun the first one is the abstract ideas okay the ideas the thought the emotion anything that we cannot touch okay so abstract idea like love freedom education luck help beauty music Fender, all of those are abstract ideas. We talked about the abstract ideas in the beginning of this semester. Can you remember that? The thoughts. Can you remember that? So the thoughts, the ideas are noun, but they are uncountable. Right? 
uncountable we can't count love نقدر نعد الحب نقدر نعد البيوتي الجمال I have two beauties how is that it is uh, illogical right can you count education can you count for example emotion المشاعر نقدر نلمس مشاعرنا نقدر نعد مشاعرنا I for example I have three emotions how is that okay so it is uncountable okay look we don't add s we don't say loves freedoms educations helps uh, beauties right we don't add s we don't say um two loves or three loves right or three beauties right so the next example is uh, the smaller part the small thing like sugar rice the small things like sugar sugar can you count sugar sugar no right can you count rice can you count salt? Can you count sand? نقدر نعد عدد حبات الرمل? No, we can't. Can you count traffic? نقدر نعد الأزمة بالشارع? No, we can't. So the small parts we can't count the small parts. So the small part is on countable the small part is uncountable also we have a third example some food we can't count some food like a bread okay bread is uncountable some students will ask me we can't we can count a bread like uh, we have uh, uh, in arabic we say raghif or rarifin but in english we can't say that okay so uh, arabic language is different from english language so when we count when we count in arabic we can't count in english so it is different okay student so bread fish cheese chocolate meat food or anything or some a uh, food in um, in english we can't count them okay so oh uh, please please a mad car no english belarabi okay so there is a big difference between english language and arabic language those nouns about the foods are uncountable okay so you have to remember those words or those nouns okay <coughs> liquids and gases liquids and gases السوائل والغازات we can't count liquids like water milk juice oil coffee rain we can't count نقدر نعد عدد حبات المطر no can we count can we count water can we count a uh, milk can we count a uh, juice also uh, i think that some students will ask me that teacher we can count the bottle of water okay the, we can count the bottle but we can't count the water okay نقدر نعد العلب تمام بس ما نقدر نعد المي نفسها او الحليب نفسه او الجوس نفسه okay student you have to distinguish okay be careful you can't count smoke right you can't count blood a damp juice fog okay so all of those things are uncountable please remember them and the next example is the materials okay here we have examples of materials like ice like a glass like gold silver steel cotton iron okay paper all of these are 
uncountable we can count those things and remember don't forget that that this is english language and english language is different from arabic language okay so ما تقارنوا بينها وبين العربي ما تحكوا انه بالعربي بنقدر نعدهم in english we can't count those things okay student so and those things like furniture uh, um, information uh, money news luggage advice and work those things are uncountable okay furniture and uh, news اخبار information معلومات money okay we can count those things okay we can't count those things or those nouns in english so all of those are uncountable all of those are uncountable okay don't forget that so uh, here we have examples of uncountable like burgers sandwiches hot dog apple uh, grapes those things are countable those things are what those things are countable the uncountable is a bread fruit the word of fruit not apple alone or orange or olive we can count the apples i have two apples i have two oranges i have three olives okay i have four watermelons but the word fruit the word fruit you can count the word fruit كلمة fruit بحد ذاتها okay غير معدودة كلمة فواكه I have uh, two fruits no okay it is wrong I have two apples true three oranges true four watermelons true but the word fruit is uncountable okay juice also uncountable rice meat okay student milk coffee oh here coffee milk money pasta are uncountable apple look here we have three apples or three oranges okay but here are those things are uncountable okay and this is another example can you see rice honey tea cheese um those flour sugar salt okay those are uncountable but the countable eggs bananas i have two bananas three bananas olives burgers uh, apples tomatoes watermelon okay those are countable we can count them okay so those are countable and uncountable nouns okay so let us return to the text or to the book so here we have a box here you have to uh, distinguish uh, the countable noun and the uncountable noun okay so the first word is theater the theater countable or uncountable theater masrah we have two theaters in Jordan. We have 10 theaters in uh, uh, Jordan, for example. We have 20 theaters in uh, Egypt, for example. This is not real information, okay? Just I try to give you sentences. So, theater is countable, right? Theater is countable noun, okay? Theater is what? Theater is countable, okay? So, traffic, traffic countable or uncountable, traffic, traffic, uncountable.
count a bell. Okay, traffic أزمة. Can you count the traffic? No, uncountable. Vegetable, countable or uncountable? Countable, the word vegetable is countable, okay? Bread, bread is uncountable. We say that honey, honey is uncountable. Flower, flower is countable. I have two flowers, for example, or three flowers. Street, street is countable. We have two streets, three streets, okay? Market. Market also is countable. A food is uncountable. And a trader, tajir. We have two traders, three traders. So trader is countable noun. Okay, student. So the next exercise here we have exercise number two. Okay. In exercise number two, you have to listen to the plural plurals of these countable nouns and put them in the corresponding groups. Okay, so I want to tell you how to distinguish between the pronunciation of Z, S, or Is. Okay, so let us move to this photo. How to pronounce the S? Okay, how to pronounce the s at the end of the words okay so if the word ends with c s x z s h ish and edge okay so you have to pronounce the s is races Buses, boxes, braces, kisses, watches, dishes, changes. Can you see? I pronounce the S is. Okay? Again, races, buses, boxes, braces, kisses, watches, Dishes and changes. Okay, I pronounce the S is right. Why? Because those words end with those letters. Okay, because those words end with those letters. Okay, because those words end with C S X. Z, S, H, H, and G. Okay? So, if the words end with P, K, T, F, uh, uh, F, and F, and F. Right? If G, H, or P, H. Okay? So, I pronounce the S. S. Sleeps. Box, uh, hats, cliffs, laughs, graphs. Okay, I pronounce the S, S. I didn't say S or Z. I say S. Can you see? Sleeps, box, hats. Okay. Why I pronounce those words is because they end with P, K, T, F. Look. Just let me show you. The last word is P. The last word is K. The last word, uh, the last letter, sorry, is T. The last letter is F. Can you see? That's why I pronounce the S. Okay. So, if the word end with B, A, D, G, L, M, N, 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 G, R, or V, I pronounce the S, 
Z Z okay crabs words bags falls dreams fans okay sings uh, wears gloves i pronounce z can you see i pronounce the s z okay why because those words end with the letter b just let me show you b d g l m n n and g r and v okay because those words end with those letters i pronounce the s z okay can you distinguish between how to pronounce the s if the word ends with those letters i pronounce the s is okay if the words end with those letters i pronounce the s s if the words end with those letters i pronounce the s z okay student so the last things i want to uh, to i want you to know is that words that end in a vowel sound use the is pronunci pronunciation for s okay uh, the words that end with vowels okay what is the vowels y u i o and a okay plays sees tries follows continues okay can you see all of those words end with what end with vowels y's look here we have a y plays sees here we have e tries here we have y a follow here we have w follows okay continuous here we have you continuous okay student so this is all about the pronunciation so let us move let us move to the text so let us first listen and write the word module three page 31 Exercise 2 Chickens Eggs Tomatoes Apricots Potatoes Plums Cherries Boxes Pears Peaches Watches Cakes Plants. Okay, student, let us listen again and try to write down the right word in the right uh, pronunciation. Okay, let us listen again. Module 3, page 31, exercise 2. Chickens. Eggs. Tomatoes, apricots, potatoes, plums, cherries, boxes, pears, peaches, watches, cakes, plants. Okay, student, so now try to guess the right pronunciation of each word, okay? Try to uh, guess the right pronunciation of each word. Chickens, chickens, I pronounce 
the S here with Z. Chickens. Okay. Chickens I use or I pronounce the Z. Okay. Z. Okay. Eggs. Okay. Eggs. Eggs. I pronounce the S. Is. Okay. And the next one is tomato. Tomatoes. Right? Also tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay, student. Tomatoes. I pronounce the S. Z. Okay. Potatoes. 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 I pronounce potatoes. I pronounce the S. Z. Z. Okay. And here we have also plums, 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 okay, and cherries, cherries, also I pronounce the S, Z, cherries, pears, okay, I pronounce the S, Z, okay, student, so, what about the S, how? Or what is the word that I pronounce the S S? Okay. Apricots. Apricots. I don't say is or is. I say S. Okay. I wish you can hear me clearly. So apricots, cakes, 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 plants. I pronounce the S. S okay so the last one what's the word that I pronounce it with is okay boxes 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 peaches watches watches okay I pronounce the S is okay student so this is all for today if you have any questions any comment just let me know and ask me whatever you want i wish you have a good and a nice day and see you next time goodbye